I'm Pierre from The Wine Society, the cooperative wine merchant that puts members before profit. I'm going to introduce Rioja, Spain's leading fine wine region, a region that is modern, forward-thinking, but with its roots firmly embedded in tradition. It's a very exciting wine region because of the diversity of styles of wine that it makes. In fact, there isn't really a Rioja, because Rioja makes red wines, rosé wines, and white wines too. I'm gonna to share my top tips to really help you navigate the wines of Rioja. Tip one, know your grapes. Rioja grows a host of fantastic grape varieties, the best of which are the local indigenous grapes. Tempranillo is the main grape for the red wines of Rioja. It produces lovely floral, fruity wines. Traditionally, Rioja though is a blend of Tempranillo with some Garnacha. Garnacha adds body and roundness then supported by two other grapes, one called Graciano, which adds aroma and acidity, and another grape called Matsuelo, which adds body and color. The very best Riocas tend to be a blend in different proportions of those grape varieties. But look out as well for the innovators of today in Rioja, because those innovators are actually taking some of Rioja's local grapes and making wines from just one of the grapes. So single varietal Tempranillo, single varietal Garnacha, or single varietal Graciano. These wines can be quite compelling and quite different in taste to the traditional Rioja. Tip two, understand the labels. Rioja wine labels are incredibly useful because they carry descriptions on them around how the wines have been aged. And this aging has a direct impact on how that wine tastes. A Criantha is a wine that's spent one year in barrel before it is released. Crianthas tend to be quite deep in color with a bright purple or ruby appearance. They're fruity wines with just a touch of spice from the light, delicate oak aging. They're a great introduction to Rioja. Reserva and Gran Reserva, we've moved up the ladder. These are amongst the finest wines, not just of Rioja, but of the world. A Reserva wine spends a minimum of three years aging before it's released. One of those years is in barrel. Gran Reserva spends five years aging, two of which are in barrel. This slow, gentle, oxidative aging has direct impact on how the wine tastes. The first thing this oxidative process does is change the color of the wine. So Reservas and Gran Reservas tend to be more towards mahogany, garnet in color. The flavors are savory, leathery, and the texture smooth and silky. Tip three, follow a bodega or producer that you love. Each producer or bodega in Rioja has a different approach. Some winemakers approach their craft using traditional techniques. Others take a more contemporary approach to their craft. These differences impact how a wine tastes. The other element is that the best producers only make Reserva and Gran Reserva wines when grapes are absolutely picked at their optimum ripeness, so usually from the best vintages. Each vintage has different characteristics and the best producers make Gran Reserva and Reservas only when the grapes reach optimum ripeness. Tip four, get to know the styles of modern day Rioja. Modern day Rioja varies from the traditional up to the very sort of international styles and they taste quite different. Traditional style Rioja tends to have been aged in American oak. The wines are usually released ready to drink. They're silky, fleshy, and usually quite complex and savory in character. Modern Rioja tend to use French oak, mostly new French oak, 
aged for a shorter amount of time. The wines are released and they can be aged further. Modern Rioja tends to be deeper in colour, full bodied, quite velvety in its texture. Then in between modern and traditional is a style I like to call modern classical. This is a style of Rioja that retains elements of the traditional aspects of Rioja using American oak, but with some modern techniques using French oak and almost the best of both worlds of modern and traditional style. Tip five, don't forget about Riocas Rosados and Blancos. White Rioja deserves special mention, especially those made from local grapes Viura, Malvasia and Garnacha Blanca. These grapes and these wines can last for many, many years and they age beautifully in bottle, developing lovely golden appearance and a nutty character. They're absolutely wonderful wines. So those are my top five tips for buying Rioja. You can find more information on the Wine Society's website along with our full range of Rioja wines. Rioja makes a fantastic range of styles matching a whole host of different food. The region itself is a gastronomic heartland. Of course, Rioja wines go brilliantly with the fantastically diverse flavours of Spanish tapas, but also with local British food too. Rioja is in a really exciting place to be buying wines from at the moment. The diversity, the variety and the quality, these are absolutely delicious wines that I urge you to explore and try. Mm -hmm.